Hi, this is Felix. Uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about my soldering project and uh, this one is for a game show and it's all about buzzers. So, um, uh, me and my friends were doing kind of a game show and we needed kind of a buzzer system with a race condition. So the one who hits first, uh, the other one get blocked. So only one uh, wins the race. Uh, so let me show you how I accomplished that and I did that with three no, actually four Arduino Nanos to have two buzzers. So let's get to the buzzers. All right, for the game show, we have three components. And uh, the first two, of course, are the buzzers. So uh, buzzer one and buzzer two. You can extend that easily to more buzzers. But right now, for the purpose of our game show, which is a German game show and called La Mian or Cassian, uh, which, uh, yeah, it's just with two teams or two people, so that's all right. And another thing which is of course important next to the buzzer is kind of the main controller, which is for uh, the game master. Uh, let me, I don't know if you see that much, but I'm gonna lift the case. So I'll put it just in this transparent boxes and I didn't even solder it because maybe later on I'm just gonna reuse all of that parts for another thing. But so yeah, how is it working and what's happening? So we have, as I said, these two buzzers. And let me show you how that works. So I've turned them on. Each of them has a Arduino Nano and a NRF24. That's actually the main components which are inside of the buzzer and of course the buzzer. So uh, that's actually a pretty neat buzzer from uh, AliExpress. I can highly recommend to buy them from there. They're good quality and they have a light inside and let me show you how that works. So um, when I press the button, it sends over the NRF24 a signal to the game master, which is received by uh, this little tiny Arduino Nano. And uh, he checks if somebody pressed before. If not, he's going to send back a signal also over the NRF24 to the buzzer and tells him, hey, you were the first one, you're able to light. And as you can see, there's some other stuff on, on the right hand side, which is the uh, second Arduino for the game master control. And the reason why I used two Arduino Nanos is because I couldn't get audio and NRF24 working on one Arduino. It's I don't know if it's possible, if you have any idea how to do get audio and NRF24 on the same bus, I, I would appreciate if you let me know how to do that. But what I did is just, I connect them over uh, over wire and so they're communicating and this one is just, you know, sending, please play that sound. And, and that's pretty much how it works. Um, all right, so uh, let me show you. Um, how that works. So I'm pressing one of them and nothing is happening because I didn't turn on the audio master of course so I'm turning that on. Uh, it, it, yeah it's just playing some kind of sound to tell everything is alright so let's let's try it. I'm pressing that button and again what happened I pressed the button it sent it over to the main controller, the main controller said, all right, you're the first one, so that's all right, you allowed to light up, and he's sending him back to the buzzer. And the other one is now locked, he's still sending kind of requests like, hello, I like to, I like to be the first, but he says, no, you're not the first, so I'm not giving you uh, the, uh, the light. And this button, which is uh, on top of it is really important, then you press it and then it resets both buzzer, it sends them please turn off again. And that's pretty much it and that's pretty cool. So uh, they're both wireless, they're handy, the distance is really nice. Yeah, I mean you can watch some other videos how far you can get with an RF 24. I could have it, you know, to one room or two room uh, away from the actual audio master and that works still pretty good. And yeah, that's about it. Just another thing, I just used some noise cancellation. I used it straight from the Arduino. I didn't use, uh, I tried it first with the LM386 or 68 amplifier, but I couldn't get rid of the noise, so I just 
used some nan uh, cancellation and found this little neat speaker which has its own amplifier and that works. So yeah, that's it. If you have any further question, let me know. Um, um, yeah, if you need some kind of source code or whatever, I can provide you with that. So thanks a lot for watching and let's do it one more time at the same time. One, two, three. Wow. Yeah, team one was faster. Anyway, thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye.